guys, Chainsaw Chad. Uh, welcome back to another Tuesday. Um, today we're going to be giving away the pumpkin to a lucky subscriber. We're going to pick a name for that. I hope you guys are all having a great day. Um, we got a little bit of snow last night. Uh, it's getting colder. Snow kind of uh, melted already, but um, yeah, it's getting colder. Today, today we're going to be carving a bench. Uh, I've had this idea in my head for quite a while. This is not an order. This is uh, just something something I want to carve. So I also wanted to uh, say thank you to everybody who subscribes. We're over a thousand now. Um, I, I can't thank you guys enough. Thank you to all the new subscribers, all the old subscribers who have been with me since day one, the first video. Don't forget to subscribe if you have not subscribed yet. So let's get all of our gear out and uh, let's get started on the bench. Later on in the video, we'll pick a winner for the uh, pumpkin. All right, got all my stuff out. Uh, this piece right here, I had left over. Um, it's gonna look, need a lot of sanding, but I'm actually gonna cut this piece in half and use each side for the armrests. And then I had to cut, uh, I had to cut slots in here for the uh, seat part and the backrest, which are, I have those already cut. This was one slab. The bench isn't gonna be too big, but it's just over four feet long. Plenty of room for two people to sit on. So I got one, this one here will be the bench seat. This one here, we're gonna carve something in the back of the uh, back seat rest. First step will be to cut that log in half. Uh, we'll get that nice and level so it sits flat. It's uh, pretty important to do. And then, uh, yeah, then we'll start cutting slots for the bench seats. I'm not going to really carve them. Um, what I might do is put a uh, maybe a bear paw or two. I don't know yet. But yeah, next step will be to uh, put a slot in here for like a groove for a uh, the bench seat. And I also have to do uh, so the bench seat here. But yeah, the bench seat will go in here. And I'll carve the uh, backrest. All right, so the next step is to uh, measure out where I want the bench seat. Alright, so I got where I need the bench seat all laid out. Uh, the slab is three inches thick, so I got three inches. The best way to do this for me anyways. Um, I need I need about perfect straight lines here. So I just use a skill saw, uh, set the depth at two and two and a quarter inches, whatever you want to do. But um 
Yeah, and then we're going to put a groove through there. I'm just going to run the saw over and over again. Take a chisel and chisel it out. And then I'll have my uh, groove for my web seat. And then I'll do the same process on the other side. dry fit it to make sure it fits good. Um, if not, we'll just run the skill saw, take a little bit more off. I just cleaned it up a little bit inside with the chainsaw just to get all the rest of the uh, chips out of there. And then uh, next step is repeat the process on this one. And then we'll slide the bench seat in, see if it fits. snug fit here. Um, what I had to do, seeing the circular saw is round. Uh, I'll, I'll show you here. I actually had to round this part off here so it's set nice in there. You could either leave this square and chisel that out, but I like to do it this way. got a good fit on the uh, seat part. Uh, later on we will uh, round off the corners here. So next step we need to, so this will be the back. Uh, we need to put a slot in here for the backrest. So that will be the next step. I'll measure it out and then we'll uh, cut it. Alright, now the backrest. We want a little bit of an angle for your back to more comfortable. I got uh, these notched out here. I also had to. Uh, I also had to notch this part out, so it sat over top of this part. So let's uh, let's test fit it, see if it fits good. Looks like it fits pretty good. Got some nice tight joints there. 
not too tight though. All right, let's go bring it into the workshop and we will draw something on the uh, bench. All right, we are back in the workshop. It's a little bit echoey in here. For on the bench seat, I'm thinking, got a nice, uh, nice area to work with. I'm thinking of black bear, uh, maybe with some trees inside of it. More of an art type thing, not just a black bear. I'll draw it out and I'll uh, show you what I mean by the trees and the, I'm thinking inside the bear, I'm gonna draw the bear out and then inside of it I'm gonna do like trees and then cut the top part out and leave the bottom part. I'll show you what I mean here in a minute. This is what I mean by uh, a bear with trees in there. Right now I'm just doing a uh, very, very uh, undetailed trees right now. I just gotta cut these out with a chainsaw and uh, put some detail on them. But for now I'm just leaving them as uh, points sticking up. They look like mountains, but eventually they'll become trees. But yeah, let's, uh, let's bring it back outside. Oh, I'll cut out the top part. In the bottom part, I'll actually cut in and raise it. So the, the bottom will all be raised and behind the trees will be cut out. Um, yeah, let's go bring it back outside and uh, start cutting. All right, we are back outside and uh, let's start cutting this out up here. Um, like I said before, uh, this will be all cut out up here. These will be the trees. And then down here, I'll just pop it out by shaving off some here. Let's, let's get started.
All right, so we are back in the workshop. It started raining, hailing, sleeting uh, sideways. So I thought I'd bring everything back in the garage. So I got the backrest sanded up. Next step, I'm thinking I'm gonna take these and I'm actually gonna put like a, maybe a couple paw prints. One here, one there or something. Just to give it some more, something to the bench. sanded uh, kind of uh, kind of blends in a little bit but I think I like that uh, once I get a finish on there it'll probably stick out stand out a little bit more yeah got the uh, the other side here I also like the uh, the marks from the chainsaw where it's darker in the grooves I'm gonna leave that like that looks kind of neat so one of the last things we got to do is uh, sand down the bench seat and then after that we will uh, put the whole thing together, see what it looks like. together and uh, let's see what we got. think there's this side there with the paw prints still have to put a coat of finish on yet uh, probably use like a spar urethane probably three coats make it all nice and shiny and waterproof um, this bench is not for an order so it's actually for sale it's $725 uh, first person that grabs it for $725 the catch is you need to uh, come pick it up because there's no way I can ship this. But that's including the finish on it, so 725 bucks. Sounds like a pretty good deal to me. Do a little close up on the bear here. I think I'm just gonna keep the bear just a natural color like that. Uh, the uh, spar gear thing will pop the grain out pretty good. So next is uh, the chainsaw carving giveaway, the pumpkin. I'm gonna go grab the uh, hat with all your names in it and we'll draw a winner. I'll be right back. 
All right, we're back, guys. Um, I got all your names in a hat. I got Blake here with me and Marissa, too. Blake is going to draw a name out of the hat. Um, this is for the free pumpkin carving giveaway. Um, it's going to go to one of your lucky subscribers that hit left a comment and is a subscriber. So if, if you win, this will be shipped to your house for free. So, all right, we will uh, let Blake pick out a name. <laughs> All right, let's see who it is. Nancy Schaefer. Nancy Schaefer, congratulations. You win the pumpkin carving giveaway. Um, you have until next week, Tuesday, to contact me um, through email. I'm gonna leave my email address at the bottom of the screen. Uh, just contact me so I can get your uh, address and stuff so I can ship this to your house. Yeah, and don't forget the bench is for sale, it's not in order. So the bench is $725. The first person who can come pick it up because I cannot ship it, uh, they get the bench. So um, I appreciate you guys watching all my videos, this video and leaving comments. And if you didn't win, these will be up on the website. So uh, they'll be for sale. And Thank you everybody who uh, subscribes, all the new subscribers, all the old subscribers. And don't forget to subscribe if you have not subscribed yet. And I really appreciate you guys watching and I will see you guys next week, Tuesday.